Welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is all about identifying parameters for testing with given real-life problems. Our objectives are define the parameters used in statistical analysis and identify the parameter to be tested in real-life problem. To begin with, let us define first parameters. Parameters is any numerical quantity that characterizes a given population or some of its aspects. This means the parameter tells us something about the whole population. It denotes a true value that would be obtained if a census rather than a sample was undertaken. And statistics, as a numerical measure that is calculated from the sample, it is no number and a variable that depends on the portion of the population. Now, let's take some examples of parameters. We have central tendency, mean, median, and mode, and standard deviation. To deepen our understanding about parameters and statistics, let us have the different symbols used to denote parameters. In our table, we have the different column, which is measure, statistic, parameter. Under measure, we can have mean. For statistic, can be x bar and for parameter it is mu for variance we may use s squared and for parameter sigma squared for standard deviation we may use s and for parameter we may use sigma and for proportion we may use the statistic p hat and for parameter small letter p remember mean and standard deviation are two common parameters. Moving on, let us now identify parameters to be tested. Given this statement, the average height of adult Filipinos 20 years and older is 163 cm for males. The parameter in the given is the average height of adult Filipinos 20 years and older. Here, if we're going to observe, we are now referring to population. In hypothesis testing, the parameter will be translated into symbols such as mu is equal to 163. Where mu is the symbol for mean or average, and 163 is the value that pertains to the average height. Let's take another situation to identify parameters to be tested. A grade 11 researcher reported that the average allowance of senior high school students is 100 pesos. A sample of 40 students has mean allowance of 120 pesos. At level of significance of 0 0.01 test, it was claimed that the students had allowance of 100 pesos. The standard deviation of the population is 50. Let us now identify the parameter. The parameter is the average allowance of senior high school students. So in again, in hypothesis testing, the parameter will be translated into symbols such as mu is equal to 100 pesos. The mu is the symbol for mean or the average, and 100 is the value that pertains to the allowance. Let's take another one. According to a survey, 63% of the parents are willing to spend extra money for their children's health and education matters. Let us now identify the parameter. The parameter states the percentage or proportion of parents willing to spend extra money in their children's health and education matter. Again, hypothesis we need to translate the given parameter into symbol, such as P is equal to 0.63, where P is the symbol for percentage or proportion, and 0.63 is the percent of parents. Now, let's take the summary of our lesson for today. The first term that we discuss is all about parameters, which tells us something about the whole population. It denotes a true value that would be obtained if a census rather than a sample was undertaken. The next one is statistics. It is no number and a variable that depends on the portion of the population. Probably, it would be a simple term as sample. And we use also this table for us to easily determine what is the parameter and statistic symbol that we're going to use for the following, like mean, Variance, standard deviation, and proportion. 
For your activity, using your module on page 7, do activity number 3. The title is Translate It. The direction states determine the notation of the given parameter, the quality symbol, or value of the parameter. That's all for today, class. Thank you for listening, and always remember, aim high, senior high!